for Santa Clara, sophomore standout Brandon Pajemski finished one assist shy of a triple double. Just the latest stat stuffing performance from the West Coast Conference's co player of the year. Pajemski helped lead the Broncos to their most regular season wins since 1969. One of the great stories in college basketball is Brandon Pajemski. Brandon Pajemski is making a name for himself at Santa Clara. The state of Wisconsin's Mr. Basketball in 2021, Pajemski averaged just four minutes per game as a freshman at Illinois. Unhappy with his playing time, he decided to enter the transfer portal. I didn't want to be 20 years old this time, this year, still playing on the bench, not knowing if I'm going to get to play, you know. Just 10 minutes after entering his name in the portal, his phone rang. It was Santa Clara. I didn't know anything about it, just knew that Steve Nash uh, was here and um, they had a, a potential pro prospect in Jalen. Coming off a 20 win season, the Broncos needed to reload after losing star player Jalen Williams. A lottery pick in the 2022 NBA draft, Williams was the first Santa Clara player selected since Steve Nash in 1996. We were fortunate uh, in the spring to be able to uh, have Brandon join us. Recognizing Pajemski's potential, the coaching staff knew it couldn't miss out on him. So they recruited senior forward Keyshawn Justice, a fellow Wisconsinite, to host him during his visit. I didn't want him being like thinking that I was going to be one of those guys that, you know, didn't want him to be himself, that I was going to try to run the team, like things like that. I wanted him to come in, be loose, and be able to go and play his game. Coming here, I knew I was going to get the opportunity to play, and that's all I felt I really needed. It also gives you the confidence to just go out there and play. You're not confined to like what you can or can't do. The West Coast Conference leading rebounder and third leading scorer, Pajemski is one of only two players in the country to average at least 19 points, eight rebounds, and three assists per game. He plays hard. He plays with an edge. I score a lot. I mean, I, I don't know, score 19 a game, but like if I could choose, I wouldn't want to do that. I'd rather get my teammates involved and be a pass first player. Pajemski became the first Bronco to be named West Coast Conference Player of the Year since John Bryan in 2009. <laughs> Despite being a newcomer on this year's squad, Pajemski has also taken on a leadership role on the team. My years in high school, I was always a leader, and then last year I kind of just let other people lead, and I just watched. This year they're, they told me, like, you're going to have to be a leader, and so I wasn't afraid to it. I'm not going to shy away from it. I'm just used to doing it. The pair of Wisconsinites have led Santa Clara to its third 20-win season in four years. The only thing they miss? A little home cooking from the dairy state. There's nothing like the Wisconsin cheese, man, where you run cheese curds, uh, you know, brats, any, anything in that area, I think we got that. So we always, you know, let the guys know that they don't know nothing about the real cheese. I really miss Culver's. Just like uh, frozen custard and, and butter burgers back home. I really miss it. I go to like in and out out here and stuff like that, but it doesn't compare to back home. On to St. Mary's freshman Aiden Mahaney. He'll get his first taste of the West Coast Conference Tournament tomorrow night. So the top seed Gales will take on BYU in the other semifinal. The former Camp Belindo High School star has quickly become the man in Moraga, just a few miles up the road from where he grew up. My mom had a very, uh, during my recruiting process, definitely laid down the law that I wouldn't be coming home for laundry and things <laughs> like that. So that definitely was a, a point that she made uh, known right away. But You're having you know, to separate the colors and the whites by yourself. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Sometimes, you know, I, I don't do all that extra work. But but regardless, uh, you know, it's been good. I, I feel like it's nice because I'm close to home, you know. There, I mean, there's hardships throughout a season, throughout just school stuff, whatever it may be. So it's nice because I have my parents as an outlet uh, to where I can go get breakfast with them. I can go over here and there. But I've really tried to separate myself and uh, stay up on campus as much as possible as well, getting that transition from high school into college and kind of living on your own. So definitely need to work on doing my laundry more consistently and things <laughs> okay. like that. Uh, I got uh, Joshua Jefferson as my roommate, and he's a great cook. So I haven't okay. really tackled the kitchen as much yet, but maybe in the future. But regardless, I'm super happy with my decision to be here, and I feel like it's the best of both worlds. Hey, still to come, did you see what